Hi, this is Naomi from TaskTop. Today I'm going to show you how TaskTop integrates JAMA and PTC Integrity Lifecycle Manager to improve collaboration, visibility, and traceability in product design and development. TaskTop gives every single IT practitioner the information they need, when they need it, in the tool they love. I'm going to walk you through a common scenario of synchronizing requirements, their relationships, and metadata between two different tools. The tools in our example are JAMA, a requirements management tool, and PTC Integrity Lifecycle Manager, an ALM tool, which in this case is being used by developers to track, prioritize, and complete their work. TaskTop supports many other tools in the software delivery tool chain so even if you don't use this precise tool combo, you'll still find this video useful. Before we jump into the tools themselves so we can see each practitioner's experience, I'll tell you real quick what we're going to do today in the demo. In our demo, a product manager defines a requirement and two sub-requirements in JAMA. When the requirements are ready for development, TaskTop flows them from JAMA to PTC Integrity where a software developer will begin to work on them. As development progresses and the artifacts are updated in PTC, TaskTop will keep both systems in sync. And when a blocker defect is found in PTC and linked to the original requirement, it will flow back to JAMA for the product manager's visibility. During the demo, I'll show you how the artifacts, along with their relationships, fields, comments, attachments, and statuses, all flow from tool to tool to help eliminate duplicate data entry, email exchanges, and status meetings. So let's get started. Starting in JAMA, the product manager is working on requirements for the HR system. She's working on employees being able to create a personal profile. Under Employee Profiles, she adds the first requirement. She enters a name for the requirement allow users to create personal profiles. She adds a description with the acceptance criteria. Users can create a personal profile with their company email. She sets the priority to medium and sets the planned release to seven. When she's finished defining the requirement, she changes the status of the requirement to ready for development. She then saves and closes and commits the requirement. She then goes ahead and defines two additional sub-requirements. The first is to allow users to upload a picture to their personal profile, and the second is to allow users to add personal information to their profile. She sets both their statuses to ready for development as well, and commits them. Let's see what happens in PTC Integrity. Because the status of the requirements was set to ready for development, TaskTop has flowed the requirements to PTC Integrity. You can see that they appear here with their names, their description, their status, and all the other metadata, which is all mapped to the respective fields. TaskTop has also retained the hierarchy of these requirements between the two systems, so you can see the two sub-requirements here under Relationships. At this point, the development lead can review the requirements and assign them to a team. At this point, he also realizes he has a question for the product manager. He needs to confirm whether the wireframes he has are the final ones. He edits the requirement and attaches the wireframes to the requirement. He then adds a comment for the product manager. He writes, hi product, can you confirm the attached wireframe design is the final one? Next, he sets the status to in scoping breakdown. Over in JAMA, we can see that the original requirement has been updated. We can see the new status. We can see the team it's been assigned to, and we can see the attachment that's been attached, plus the comment down below that the dev engineer entered for the product manager. So the product owner can enter her reply 
and write, yes, these are the final wireframes for the user profiles, and that comment will be updated back in PTC Integrity. In PTC Integrity, as the developers move through their workflow, they eventually change the requirement status to in progress. Any status change is reflected automatically in JAMA to provide the product manager with the visibility that she needs. Now let's say that during development, an engineer finds a defect while doing some initial testing. He creates a new defect that pictures in JPEG format are not displaying on the user profile. He enters a description and sets the priority to blocker. He also links the defect to the requirement. He changes the state to in progress and clicks apply and OK. Back over in JAMA, we can see the blocking defect filed by the developer in PTC Integrity has flowed over with all its metadata as well as its relationship to the requirement. Our practitioners work seamlessly with each other never having to leave their tool of choice, never having to copy and paste information, and never having to send an email. Learn more about how TaskTop can help you get work done in IT at tasktop.com.